mobile banking and the risks. We have interesting times when we look at IT security. We just released our 2014 threat predictions and one of the pressing topics is actually how secure online banking is. And online banking has been pretty secure for a while because the banks in most parts of the world, they had something which was called TEN, Transaction Authentication Number. What happens there is you do online banking, you do online banking on your computer, you type in the recipients, the amounts of money you want to send, all of this, and you send this information to a banking server. The banking server then stores this data temporarily, then sends you an SMS on your registered mobile device. The SMS tells you that the recipient, that the amounts of money, and you need to confirm it with a code. You type in the code onto your desktop computer, it's sent to the banking server, the banking server of course knows the code and then confirms the transaction. Perfect, pretty good security because even if your desktop computer is infected, you see then that something is wrong on your mobile device with the summary in the SMS. Unfortunately, our user behavior has changed completely and the banks are really struggling with it because nowadays a lot of online banking is conducted with a tablet, is conducted with a mobile device. And then if your mobile device is infected, it could manipulate it all with the so-called man in the middle Trojan. So what this piece of malicious software does, it intercepts the information which is sent to the banking server the information there is already wrong, the bank of course doesn't know it, calculates the checksum, sends over this transaction authentication number and you confirm a wrong transaction because what you are seeing on screen all looks legitimate and all looks like that's what you wanted to do. So this shows that sometimes technology is changing so fast that it wants security doesn't work anymore because the user behavior has changed already. Because in the past, it was almost impossible to infect two devices at the same time. Now you just need to infect the smartphone on Android. And thanks to this, this online banking security, what we are having now is almost obsolete. So really be careful when you're doing online banking. Really ask yourself, do you want to do everything from your smart device?